Do you feel anxious? I think often as moms, especially when we're raising kids with neurodiversities, we can have a lot of anxious feelings. Here's what not to do. Don't try to rationally talk your way out of your feelings of anxiety. Here's why. Your feelings are not rational. Your thoughts are rational. I'll give you an example. The other morning, I woke up feeling very anxious because my son is going away to sleep away camp and he'll be away from me for six nights and that's the longest we've ever been away. So I tried to rationally tell myself, it's okay, it's only six nights. My oldest son has already been and he absolutely loved it. And there's great medical staff there. He'll have his friends, he'll have a great time. That didn't help my anxiety at all. This is what I did instead. Step one, name it to tame it. I labeled my feelings. I am feeling anxious. And notice I didn't say I am anxious. I said I am feeling anxious. Step two, feel it to heal it. I recognized where I felt that anxiety in my body, a vibration in my chest, a shortness of breath. Then here's the magical thing, right underneath your collarbone in that tender spot, I started tapping. And while I was tapping, I tuned into the feelings in my body. I'm feeling anxious. I feel a shortness of breath. I feel a squeezing in my chest. And after 90 seconds, the anxiety lifted.